Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Thursday, it's the 19th of September 2024. I'm going to look to feature the first race over the jumps, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 and remember to go check out my little brown jug preview today from the Delaware County Fair. That preview is live right now, but we're going to look at the featured first race from Belmont the Big A, which is a good one here. It's always a good race here, and I always like these jumps races. Uh, the first race from Aqueduct, it is a Lonesome Glory Handicap. It's a grade one event going for $150,000 purse races to be run over the national um, hurdles here. Race for four-year-olds and upwards. Field, uh, let's see, field of seven horses going 4,000 meters or two and a half miles on the jumps course, which is also the inner turf course. I'm going to take the sixth horse here, Freddie Flincher, 6734 for me in the Superfecta. 6734 Super. Top selection, six horse, Freddie Flincher. This um, six year old gun by Flincher here. Carrie Bryan trans gets McQueen up in the saddle. The horse's most recent out came the AP Smithwick at the spa. Two three miles to Reeds on the 21st July. And he finished third by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he just didn't get over the, the jumps very well. He sat back early. He moved a little bit late, but he needs something more. It was improving off the stime in the race before here at Aqueduct, but he still could did some more improving. I think third race under his belt, you know, I, I think he could uh, finally find a, a trip to win. He ran here in the Steinman here in uh, in uh, June over the two miles to race here, and he just didn't do a lot of running. He, 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 Lay Imperator, who was running back this one today, ran terrifically in the front end. This horse just didn't show up that day off the bench of nearly 11 months. I think he made the race that day. Prior to that on the Smithwick last year over the two miles 16th at the spa, he finished third by five and a quarter lengths that day, and again, he just never really got going. And then at Nashville, Percy Willow in the Green Pastures over two miles and a quarter in May last year. He finished second by seven lengths where he jumped well. He just couldn't quicken up late, but he got around the race course well. His 22 form wasn't bad at all. He actually won a very nice novice race, allowance race at Saratoga over the two miles 16th, and came back to run in the Michael Walsh novice in early September 23, where he finished second by three quarters length by Tur Turcotte, who just again had the jump on him, but this horse had a decent run in. He's training well since the last race. I think it's, you know, he, he improved a little bit last time out the Smith Wick, refreshing here against these horses. I'm going to give him a shot here at three to one to possibly upset. The seven horse lay imperator could win also for Galligan. Um, seven year old by Holy Rope and Emperor. Years ago, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this horse was um, a Chad Brown horse. Um, but um, since coming to the new owners, he's really, you know, been a good jumper. He won two back, uh, three back in the Steinman over this turf course over the two miles three back in June, where he won by two lengths from a tracking trip. He took off clear, came back running the Smithwick, where he just never got down the race course well, never jumped a, a fluid race. And then he ran over the flat last time out of Colonia or, or early in the month over the mile and a half, where he finished third by 11 and a quarter lengths that day. And I thought he wanted more ground, but he got around the race course okay. But if you look at his jumps races, he likes running here at Aqueduct. There's not a lot of jumps race here at Aqueduct, but in the few he's found, he's run terrific races. He actually placed in this one last year where he got caught by Mary Maker late, but he ran his heart out. If he wasn't drifting, he would have won. Came back to run at Fair Hills after that, Far Hills, where he had a decent third place finish behind Aban, who uh, beat this horse quite a few starts in a row. He's been coming in, in uh, former Tom Pletcher horse, he's been becoming uh, a decent stare, it seems. But this horse, since coming to the hurdles, he's really improved a lot. I like that they had a, a, a fly race most recently with him. He could win. I would use him in the pick three that begins with this race. Remember with the pick five with the um the pick five with with it being um uh, a first race being a jumps race. Pick five only begins with race two, so and no pick five beginning with this jumps race. But there's a pick three. I would use him there. But to recap my selection for the first from Aqueduct now, it's a Lonesome Glory handicap. We're gonna use the six horse Freddie Flincher. Give kudos to the seven horse Lamp Porter. Six seven three four super six seven in the multi race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.